Hi, my name is Mike Arnold. I'm with Advanced Home Care Operations Specialist, and I'd like to take the time today to talk to you about your nebulizer and your nebulizer kit. Nebulizers are used with patients to have COPD, chronic obstruction, pulmonary disease, emphysema, pneumonia, any kind of lung disease. The medication is inhaled. Step one, let's talk about your nebulizer kit, what it consists of. You have a pipe, mouthpiece, a tea piece, medicine lid, and a medicine cup with a baffle. Step two, inserting your medication into the NEB kit. First, you will need to grab your medication cup. I'm going to use water for demonstration purposes right now. So you would insert your medication in through here. Your medication will come in boxes such as the ones on the table here now. Next, I'm going to take the nebulizer medication cup lid and then screw this on. Make sure you evenly thread it on. Next step, once you have your medication in the medication cup and your lids on, the next piece that will need to come into play is your tea piece, which looks just like this right here. It only works one way. It will not work this way or this way, but it's snug this way. Simply push down on it till it snugs. Once you have your tea piece on correctly, you will then grab your corrugated tubing. This tubing will attach to only one end as well, just like it did with the uh, medication lid. Simply place it on the front, just like that. Once you have your corrugated tubing on correctly, you will then, then need to get your mouthpiece. Insert your mouthpiece in the opposite end of where the corrugated tubing is, just like that. Next, you will need your nebulizer pit tubing. They both have the same ends. So it doesn't matter which end you use first. Just use one end and connect it to the bottom side of your nebulizer kit like so. I recommend giving it a little twist as you push down to get it as snug as you can because sometimes a compressor will blow it off. Okay. Once you have your nebulizer tubing attached to the medication cup, you will then need to attach the other end to the nipple adapter on your nebulizer as shown right here. Again, Twist and push down to get it a snug fit, just like that. If you're using a nebulizer and would like to use the face mask, just simply take off the T-piece connection from the mouth, just like this, and attach to either the adult or pediatric, depending on who's using it, to the top piece, just like that. Once you have put your nebulizer kit together correctly and have medication in there and are ready for your treatment, you will need to locate your power switch, which is on the side of a nebulizer. You will flip it up into the on position, place the micro mist kit in your mouth, take a breath and hold it for five seconds and release. The typical treatment should take about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and demonstrate what it should look like and sound like if you have your kit correctly put together. Now, as you notice, there is like a mist or a fog that forms. This is what you should see while doing your treatment. Now, once your treatment is through, you will need to take your uh, micro mist kit to the sink and clean it. You'll first need to detach the tubing on the bottom. Now, leave it connected to your compressor. That's fine. The tubing will not need to be washed. You will need to take your kit completely apart. And it's very important that you rinse out or clean your nebulizer kit after each treatment. You can typically do this with just warm water after each treatment, but the very last treatment of the day, you'll need to clean it in a mild dish soap and warm water and let it completely air dry and replace your nebulizer kit at least every 30 days. I just want to show you what it's going to look like if your treatment is not doing what it's supposed to. A typical problem is, is the patient or caregiver leaves this very important part out, which is called the baffle. Without this piece, 
the, the micro mist kit is not able to uh, smoke like it's supposed to. Demonstration purposes, I'm going to turn this on just so you can see. Medication's in the cup, but the baffle is missing. So this is what it's going to look and sound like. As you can see, there's not the smoke that you had when the baffle was there. So if you experience this, this is, this is a very important piece. It's very important that you make sure that you throw away and dispose of your nebulizer kit at least every 30 days and get a new one. Over time, the tubing, if you're not replacing it, can cause bacteria and things to grow into it, which we do not want you to inhale. It's very dangerous. Now I'd like to talk to you about your nebulizer compressor. There is a filter, filter located right beside the nipple adapter where you attach the tubing for the neb kit. It's very important that you check this every so often and make sure that it's not discolored. If it is discolored, it will need to be thrown away. This filter is not reusable or it's not washable. Now that concludes your nebulizer basic troubleshooting and operation. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on nebulizers and thank you for choosing Advanced Home Care. Advanced Home Care, home care is our business, caring is our specialty. Advanced Home Care, home care is our business, caring is our specialty. When your care is advanced, your recovery is enhanced. Advanced Home Care, home care is our business, caring is our specialty.